I wouldn't confidently call myself a street photographer, but street photography does interest me. People specifically, and street photography is something I'd like to be good at. I'm also naturally quiet and anxious as hell being around most people, so I'm using street photography to combat that. At the moment, I'm prioritising the simple act of taking a photo of someone that interests me over a more involved and complex scene. Photographing strangers doesn't come naturally, so it's important to practice. It's all one good spotting moments that would have made an interesting photo, but that's useless if the very act of lifting up your camera sends you into a downward spiral of self-loathing and anxiety. I've been watching his stuff and that's like so cool, but it's like long lens. Like, now what am I saying? Well, if you've seen just one street photography video online, you could probably guess. More often than not, I'm zone focusing, mostly at around two meters relying on f8 for the greater depth of field and 1 500th of a second to help eliminate movement with auto iso uh, for the job because it's one less thing to worry about generally i'll open up the aperture if i've stopped someone to ask for the portrait as i get more time to focus properly i'm sure i've just blown your mind with that insight you're welcome sometimes i just outright ask people if i can take the portrait i'm way better at that than i used to be just catch your eye, keep it simple with, can I take your picture? Don't overcomplicate it, or you'll likely sound like a freak with dodgy intentions. This is the famous uh, range finder. It's fucking heavy, man. Often people will just say yes. Sometimes I'll ask why, and it's best just to be honest. I just love your scarf, that's a wild hat. Rarely they'll say no. Oh, eight kilos. It's eight, eight kilos already for 14 weeks. Oh. Okay. Eight kilos. Yeah. It's going to be stocky. It's going to be junky. It's going to be chunky. And even when they say no, it's fine. They're likely in a rush. I'm just not feeling it. Smile and move on. Normally I'm wearing bold colours myself, and I like to think this helps folk understand that I'm not trying to be stealthy or weird. As much as I love street photography from New York, it's shit that it feels like that's all there is on YouTube. Which leads me nicely into this. If you're a Glasgow street photographer, get in touch. Let's meet up, chat some shit, take some photos. I'd love to feature more photographers here and share a new episode each month.